Look who we've got back in the cafe. It's Troy Ackerman. How are you, Troy? Very well, thank you, Mike. Yourself? You're very good. Not as good as you guys, though. Congratulations. Winners in the New Zealand Travel Industry Awards. Thank you very much. Yes, we were uh, lucky enough to pick up the award for the um, best River Cruise Operator uh, for Avalon Waterways, and it's the second year in a row that we've done so, so we're very, very pleased with that. And that's why we have you on the show, because you know what you're talking about, which is great. So speaking of river cruising, it's actually Cruise Month. What does that mean? It is. So uh, October's Cruise Month, um, so there's a great emphasis on all things cruising um, in all various types of sort of media. Um, you'll see a lot about ocean, but obviously river's becoming uh, a lot more popular, so you'll see Avalon Waterways heavily featured in there as well. Now, apart from the bodies of water you're travelling on, yes. what is the difference between cruising and river cruising? Yeah, look, it's just a more intimate experience. Um, you've obviously got much smaller vessels. Um, you get all the benefits that you get with ocean cruising. So, um, you know, the immersive experience, the unpack once, the fact that your luxury hotel room travels with you, uh, the culinary side, the, the gastronomy, the food. Um, but you're landlocked, so you've got 360 degree views. Uh, much smaller vessels, so much more intimate experience. Um, and being that we're landlocked, we're actually spending more time on land and you're actually getting off the ship and, and experiencing, um, you know, what the local area has to offer. Yeah, I guess that's the great thing. You can basically pull up right in the heart of a city in a lot of cases, yes. couldn't you? So then you can get off, you can explore, and flicking through the brochures, I've noticed, you do get to spend quite a bit of time on land. Yeah, you do. I suppose there's two parts to a river cruise. Obviously, the cruising experience itself, but, you know, a really big emphasis on the actual shore excursions. Um, being the Globus family of brands is 90 years old, and we started off as an escorted coach touring company, you know, we do the land side of it very, very well. Um, we guests get to experience all the must-see sites of Europe in the particular area that they're at but also a big emphasis on sort of getting off the bed and track and having immersive experiences that wouldn't necessarily be able to have themselves. And, and one thing I love too is the three different options that you have. What are they? Active, Discovery and Classic. Can you explain a bit about them? Yeah, sure. So Classic is, is literally your must-see sites. Right. Um, your Discovery is your immersive experiences, so your cooking schools, your winemaking. Um, there's an etiquette class, believe it or not, in Vienna where you can get to figure out where all those knives and forks <laughs> come into <laughs> play. Yeah. Um, a lot of people can do with that. <laughs> yeah. And then the Active side is, is really about, you know, your, your, your sort of light cycling tours, your, your hikes, Brilliant. your you know, kayaking, your, your yoga, your, you know, not particularly exclusive, but, um, you know, just being a little bit more active as you travel. That's brilliant, catering to absolutely everybody, yes. which I love. Okay, let's talk about the actual ships that you use, because I would imagine they're small enough to provide intimacy, but they're also big enough to provide the space. Yeah, so we have two different uh, size of ships. So one's basically 130 guests, the other's basically 160. Um, 110 metres in length, so like a reasonable size where you've got space, but again intimate enough to, to not be overwhelming, you know, to get on and off the ship to disembark and embark is literally a case of minutes. And at what sort of size, of, you know, pe how many people are we talking, I guess? Yeah, so about 120 oh, um, on the small oh. ships, okay, up to cool. about 160. Great, so there's some great friends to be made too, yeah, I would is. imagine. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so we talked about the food earlier. You said you know it's all part of the packages, yes. with most of the uh, inclusions that you get. What do people love about that dining experience? Yeah, so we, we look for regional cuisine. Um, so, you know, of, a, of an evening, you know, your meal is going to be based around wherever we are in Europe at the time. Nice. Um, normally a five course meal, so plenty of options, uh, accompanying beer, wine, and, and soft drinks. Uh, and it really is just a nice, really formal dining experience but in an informal way. We've got a big emphasis on casual luxury or relaxed luxury with Avalon Waterway. So it's an amazing meal but in a very casual environment. You know, we're not talking tuxedos or dinner jackets. Nice. It's just, you know, you dress casually, you enjoy the meal um, and every night it's different. Yeah, and food and beverage, the universal language of the world, really, is, isn't is it? it? Is it right? <laughs> okay, what's popular for New Zealand travellers? Because I guess we can be quite picky. Yes. What are we all picking? Yeah, so Magnificent Europe, which is our itinerary that runs between Amsterdam and Budapest, or Budapest and Amsterdam, oh, nice. over 14 nights, is by far and away most popular out of New Zealand. It has been for the last... 10 years. Um, coming in a really close second though is France as an alternative um, destination, a place close to your heart. Um, yeah, so, yeah. yeah um, as an alternative destination, again, amazing things to see there. Um, a lot of the smaller itineraries are working quite well too, um, uh, but also Vietnam and Cambodia is becoming increasingly popular from a river cruising perspective too, down the Saigon River and up the Mekong Delta, um, which is fantastic. And what about India? Is that popular as well? Yeah, it is. We've only brought on India um, for the first time for next year, um, but it's already selling really, really well. And again, it's just one of these destinations where you get to see it from a slightly different perspective. You know, you know, you don't see the Ganges, you're literally sailing on the Ganges, wow. uh, which is great. And the world is a big place, so the use the experts like yourselves, you get exactly what you need. What specials can you do for us? Yeah, so um, for Cruise Month, we've got a, a very good um, offer out with Avalon Waterways where people can save up to $4,800 on their airfare. <laughs> 
um, on selected cruises. So um, wow, yeah, That's which is huge. fantastic. Yeah. yeah, obviously, you know, the airfare is a key expense in getting across there. Um, that you know, with prices that they are at the moment, with the amount of variety that we've got in airfares, that almost covers your airfare. Um, and then off you go. Nice work. And is that available, uh, you know, across the board? It is, yes, across all cruises. Oh, nice. Um, yeah, in, in um, Europe and in Asia. Ah, oh, brilliant, Troy. Sell me. People will be booking straight away. Congrats on the awards. Thank you very much. And thanks for sharing. You give us such a good insight. You really make it easy. Thank you so much. The You're brochures, welcome. they look amazing as well. And the deals won't last. If you'd like to find out more, call your travel agent now or call Avalon Waterways on 0800 267 668.